Low motility uh, normally is termed as asthenospermia, which imply, indicate, which uh, is a condition where uh, the man produces a high number of sperm, but a very low number of them are, mot are motile. According to the WHO criteria, at least 32 a percent of the sperm produced, spermatozoa produced, need to be uh, to to exhibit a forward motility in order for the man to consider to have that considered uh, with normal motility characteristics. In cases where the man, the patient, has lower motility, that means that his ability to produce a pregnancy is uh, lowers. Uh, however, we can still have a pregnancy uh, when uh, in low motility cases. What I would advise to our patients in case of asthenospermia is to try to optimize their, uh, their lifestyle habits uh, in an effort to improve uh, motility characteristics. And, uh, and some of the examples is to quit smoking, to reduce BMI, and to uh, increase the intake of supplements such as multivitamins and increase uh, um, uh, sports activity. All of them have been linked to improve motility characteristics. And something else also would be to avoid a high temperature in the scrotum area. Again, this has been linked to, to low motility characteristics. And over the last years, it has shown that increased frequency of ejaculation may also help uh, motility improvement. If all of these have, uh, uh, have been tried and we still see that the motility remains low, then we should refer uh, the man to the andrologist to check for the existence, the presence of varicocele, because varicocele, uh, a medical condition which uh, affects the vascularity of the testes, may also contribute and reduce the motility characteristics. In any case, when everything has been checked and improved, and if we still have low, low uh, motility and no pregnancy, then we should aim and uh, suggest, give the option of an assisted reproduction technique such as IUI or IVF or even ICSI in severe forms of asthenospermia.